From South Africa's best dressed man to right here to the fashion news, look no further, the fashion fix, they are here. It is in vogue and on time and we'll be ensuring that your weekend begins fully informed and inspired. And to help us do that, we have Expresso editor Nick Strelitz with us and presenter Hello. to Bougie. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I always love this. Yes. Tell me, no. give me stories. What's happening on the international <laughs> stages? There's some creepy things happening. So. Uh, okay, so I shouldn't be too excited. No, it's like equal parts creep and equal parts inspiring. Yes. Okay. okay, what's creep? Well, let me introduce you to a gentleman who's going to revolutionize the fashion world, or actually the world, um, Hiroshi Ishiguro. Okay. To think of that. Okay, so he is a Japanese engineer. Mm. He's at the forefront of um, um, Android developments, okay? So Android is human replicas, right? Ooh. So these guys, they can speak, mm. they can move. Slightly creeped out? Yes, slightly. okay. Yeah. I, I look at that uncanny resemblance, yeah? He's been doing this for 17 years, so he knows what he's doing. But what does this have to do with fashion? Yep. Are you I, asking me? Yeah. What? what does that have to do? Okay. Well, let's cue the upcoming December issue of Vogue, American Vogue. So we see the cover there. There's Meryl. Yes. And who is that little lady on the left to be Ooh. featured? Is that in her a own robot? Spread? Yep. That is an oh. android. Meet oh. Erica. Hey, E. Hey, E, girl, <laughs> you are scary. So, E, Erica, is going to be featured in the most coveted fashion magazine in the world, wow. full-page spread. This is part of a development program that uh, Ishiguro has been doing for the last 20 years. He's trying to develop human artificial intelligence, people that, oh, people. Robots. <laughs> people, robots that have <laughs> uh, 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 machine brains, but they can feel, they can think. Mm. This is sort of going into that direction. This is part of his sort of X generation, his newest development. So you can see, I mean, these are all androids, right? Mm. What does this mean for the future of fashion? Yeah. Are we gonna have robotic models? Are we gonna have robotic designers? Design. <laughs> We never no, know. It. But what do you guys, I mean, it's a bit, it's, 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 it's trippy, yeah. but this is the future. It, it is shows the you anything is possible. Is anything is possible. So let's go to present tense. What's yes. happening at home? What's happening on the so local scene? So a little scene? less creepier and a little bit more it's not fun. Me. I mean, really. Um, Afropunk is coming to South Africa, which is really exciting. So if you've been living under a rock, how do you not know that the biggest music festival mm -hmm. internationally is coming to our grounds right here in December? I'm super, super excited. I think the great thing about Afropunk is that despite it being about music, it's also about the fashion. Mm. Yep. So, of course, we're going to be on it um, to see what's going to be happening Ooh, on that day. Yeah. And it's great because um, um, we see some of the brands collaborating with local creators yeah. as well, right? Yeah. I've seen some incredible things like Yo. the makeup game gets totally. stepped up, the accessories, they the get hair, out. everything. But it's all about this local collaboration, which is yes. amazing. This Designers like Eric Makube for a, a brand called Vintage Zionist. They're all about mm. sort of this rocker aesthetic, which is perfect for the festival. Also yeah. distressed leather, um, mm. denim. But what's even better is that this gives them a platform for their sustainable fashion. We've talked a lot about sustainability on the show. Yeah. What they're doing is something called upcycling. Mm. So it's taking items like this. If we're not using this in five years, instead of throwing it away, they just recycle the fabric and the yarn into a new new product. Very cool. It takes 700 gallons of water to produce Imagine. a t-shirt. That's insane. One t-shirt. That is so. insane. And that these guys, be. yeah, in partnership with Afropunk. We Afro have a water crisis. No, I, well, that as well. that. I mean, no t-shirt. Take this t-shirt off. No, take that's, it off. No, that's inappropriate. <laughs> Don't know that. But you know what I mean? So this is great. It's spotlighting <laughs> sustainability. It's spotlighting South African fashion. Yeah. All the eyes are going to be on South Africa for how we show up to this festival. Absolutely. I Looking really forward to it. Eh? Love that. Awesome. And just quickly before we say goodbye, yes. what is our weekly dose of trend talk? So I'm talking two trends, and it's funny that we're speaking about Afropunk because these are trends that you actually perfect for Afropunk. Yep. Now, for those ladies who don't want to do color blocking with clothes, I mean, you could do it on the eyelid. Oh. Um, I really am loving this beauty trend. I mean, it's a different way to kind of like mix different um, colors, play around with mascaras, play around with different shadows, and really create a very fantastical type of look. I really, summer, really love this. Perfect, you know, it's perfect for summer, perfect, perfect for Afropunk. That's so easy. Perfect. Yeah, right? so no, easy absolutely. And I think it's it's so easy. <laughs> so easy. I mean, yes. and in and the nails. second look, we are talking about nails, honey. Mm. Now, South African women, we are a bit conservative. Very conservative. You know what I mean? Crazy by putting a little mustache. <laughs> I mean, come on, on guys. That's amazing. Amazing. Give me more. We're talking <laughs> prints. That. We're talking crystals. We're talking textures. different Grace. textures. Even if you have to add it on two nails, three nails. I mean, you know, it's good to play around with different textures. And yeah, this is summer, baby. I am ready. I'm Russian ready. You guys I'm are ready. making me excited for summer. Okay, well, don't go anywhere. Yes. We still have to bougie and Nick with us a little bit later when we play a game of fab or fail.